Welcome to Pittsburgh and Carnegie Mellon University, home of Astrobotic, one of the teams competing for the $20 million Google Lunar X Prize. And the last time we saw Astrobotic, we were in the middle of the Mojave Desert where they were testing out their landing systems in preparation for landing on the moon. Today, we're going to check out what happens next. See if they can actually broadcast high definition video from the lunar surface all the way back here to us on Earth. For the testing, we're going to have to leave the lab and go out in the field to an active quarry. That means safety gear is most definitely required, partner. So we're at the Lafarge test site. We're testing the image system on the rover. We're looking at the quality of the images that come off the cameras, and then we're transmitting those over a link that's similar to what we'll use on the moon. From the Earth to the moon, we have a signal propagation delay of 2.5 seconds. So when we send a command from Earth, it takes 2.5 seconds to reach the moon. And from the moon, the, the image feedback that gives the result of that action would be another 2.5 seconds. So we press a button to make the robot do something, then we see it five seconds later. So we have to plan for that in our driving strategy. We need to prove that the resolution of the images are uh, good enough to drive, that the compression that's required to get all that data down doesn't destroy the images, uh, and that we can take nice, high-color HD images of the beautiful things that we're going to see on the moon. Yeah, so right now we're looking at the user interface for our prototype moon rover. On it, we can see the images that are fed to it. Those are used to uh, control the rover, and the higher definition images are streamed back to Earth for the viewing of the public. The two cameras give us stereo video. On the moon, uh, the sunlight's very bright, very gray, it's very flat, and so it's hard to tell distances. We use the stereo cameras to be able to tell distance to things like rocks and craters so we don't get stuck. One of the key uh, requirements of the Google Lunar X Prize is to prove that we traveled 500 meters on the moon, and this screen actually updates our distance estimate in real time so we know how far we've traveled, and we're also able to see the exact number of rotations for each wheel because that's that along with computer vision techniques are the two key data points for our distance verification. The rover has a suspension that allows it to drive at low speeds very capably. It's a single pivot suspension, one pivot up front, and then all of the rest of the suspension is fixed. At this point, the big thing they have to do is really just test. Hey, my name's Jake Kurtz. Um, one of the judges and they're scheduled with the next couple of weeks to really start going through the like I say the thermal the vacuum the shock and vibe testing and really the shock and vibe the critical part is to survive the launch I don't think they're gonna have a lot of risk there I think they got a very strong strong approach so the, this lander looks very different from the one that we tested in Mojave but the engines are the same the propulsion uh, fuel system is very similar uh, the computing and landing systems are identical. So what we need to do now is integrate all of those components, fly a system that's got the, got the similar architecture, and then uh, we'll launch it into space and land on the moon. This is Tim Stevens covering the Google Lunar X Prize for CNET.